receive a new thing. My God. That is a new time of forgiveness. I ain't got no help that time. A new time of blessing, restoration, and God's presence. How many of God is getting ready to do something new? Oh my God. A new time of forgiveness. How many know the thing that you did before? Don't worry about them no more because God has told them behind your back. A new time of blessing. How many know God is getting ready to bless you abundantly? Oh my, my. Are you ready for it? Restoration. He's going to restore the things that have been taken away from you. Right. Some of you need to be praising God already because your joy, your strength, your health, your children, your finance, things you've been dealing with. How many of God is going to give a, you a new thing? Yeah. Uh, something that the devil took, he can keep. Uh, he don't want it back. Bye bye. But some of the things that God is about to give me now is some new things. Right. Look at your neighbor one time because they're going to find what's happening here today. Say, neighbor, God is up to something. <laughs> Restoration of present. For this will praise, this they will praise their God. How many of the pre-rapses of the day is you got to learn how to praise him? Yeah. Woo! You got to praise God for what's about to happen. Yeah. So they will praise their God. It's clear that this would be an act of God's covenant, faithfulness, and mercy. Not as a result of the people's merit. It's not of your goodness because we've been bad. All right. We didn't always do the right thing. But how many of the God is getting ready to bless you anyway? Yeah. How many know it's something about grace? Uh, how many know grace is the unmerited favors of God? Meaning it's something that we don't even deserve. A lot of us should be slipping in our grave for the things that we've already done. But thank God for grace. The Bible said, justice demanded that you shall die. But grace and merit said, I've already paid the price. How many know grace loved you when you was unlovable? For by grace you are saved through faith. Nothing that you have done because God, not because you was good, but because God, he is good. Yeah. I'm going to talk about myself in here that day. Yeah. I mean, realize, so God is going to bless them in spite of what they've done. Yeah. Not because of their merits, because we didn't earn this. I mean, realize that you are who you are, it's because of the grace of God. Not because you were so good or done so many good things. It's because God's love covers us and it is for us. Yes, God in here, not as a result of his people married. The promise of Isaiah 43, 18 to 19 must have reminded Israel. Oh my God, Isaiah the reading of the Exodus from Egypt. When God saved their forefathers from bondage and led them through the wilderness. How I many of you got to get ready for your exodus? How I many of it reminded us of the action? How I many know that God brought you out of bondage? God brought you from hard taskmasters. Oh my God, how I many know you were slave to sin? But God brought you out. That was some circumstances you found yourself in. But how I many know when God has brought you out? Look what he's saying today. Look! I am about to do something new. Oh my God in here. Even now it is coming. Yeah. I ain't got no help today. Look. I want you to look. God said I'm about to do something new. Yeah. Even now it is coming. Yeah. Do you not see it? Oh my God. Do you not know that he's setting the devil up to bless you? Yeah. All right. Every time you go through something, that means a blessing is on the other yeah. side. You got to go through to come out. The more hell you go through, the greater your praise go. Yeah. Ain't got no help in here. How many of you your situation is just a setup for future success? Yeah. I'm going through so I can go up. Yeah. Uh, we're talking here today, cut. How many of you you got to learn how to give God a praise when it don't make sense? Yeah. He said, look at, look, I want you to observe your circumstance. Sir, what you've been battling with. Yeah. How many of the time of uncertainty? Sickness is running rapid through our land. They get a hold on one thing, some of the other break out. Seem like normal ain't never coming back. Yeah. But how many are alive we're going to praise him in his fight of, yeah. oh my God. We're going to give God a praise in my mask. Yeah. Oh my God, in my houses with my hand sanitizer. I'm going to give God a praise because God is up to something. Yeah. I'm about to do something new. All right. Even now, this present time, it is coming. Yeah. I'm standing as a prophetic message to tell you, even now, it's coming. Yeah. 
do you not see it? Oh my God, I will make a way in the wilderness, a river in the desert. I mean, God is getting ready to make a way out of no way. He's getting ready to open the door that was shut in your face. Some things that don't make sense gonna make sense in a minute. Some of your trouble you've been going through, you've been putting up with. How many realize it's about to make some sense? Baby, if I know I was going through that to be where I'm at today, I would have told you to keep on hitting me. All right. Paul said that was delivered unto me a form in the flesh. And for this thing I prayed three times. Lord, take it away from me. But God kept telling him, my grace is sufficient for thee. For your strength is perfected in weakness. So when I'm weak, then I'm strong. Can I cause some help in here? You ought to pray God for your weak self. Because God said, I'm about to make you strong. Negative beliefs, these fears, 
insecurities from your heart and your soul. You need to overcome these barriers and forget them to make your dreams come true. In order for your dreams to come through, you got to let go of the former things. You got to tell yourself, I can't run with negativity. I'm tired of Mr. Negative. I'm tired of Sammy Negative. I'm tired of being around Mr. Pestilence. I need somebody.
presence of the devil. Rivers in bad land. Stuff ain't growing where you live at. But God is going to make a miracle in your life. Say yeah. yeah. Come on and holler. New thing. Fresh start. God wants to realign our heart just like he did the people of Israel. Through the prophet Isaiah's word, if God's people had stayed focused on their captivity, they would have never experienced that release. How I many know December the 5th, 2021, this is your exodus. You're getting ready to come out of some stuff. The thing you've been through didn't destroy you. But you get it ready to come out. Oh my God. I don't see nobody. I don't hear nobody. But I'm getting ready. I'm in here. And this is my exodus. The change is open. Oh my God. The past is over. I pray you is here.
Is that it? 